Every day may not be good, but there's something good in every day. Hi, I'm Sharon. Loving yourself is the greatest revelation. Hi, I'm Azaria. Every, every winter, winter has, has its, its spring. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Vicky, and welcome to the show. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. First, tell, please tell us about your job. I have the best job ever. I am an aide in the lead program for Illinois Public Schools. Okay. What is the best part of your job? I would say the best part of my job is getting to volunteer in the community and definitely the best part is hanging with some really cool kids. What is hard about your job? Oh, that's easy. Mass breaks in the freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Tell me about your background. Tell me about how your background prepared you for your job. Well, my background, I went to school, for, to college for business, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that, but I. I would have to say the thing that prepared me most for this job was probably how I was raised. I was always taught to respect people and treat everybody with compassion and kindness. Did you have any jobs when you were my age? I did. Um, my very first job was Dunkin' Donuts and it was the hardest thing ever. <laughs> what is your favorite food? My favorite food? would be eggplant perm. Wow. <laughs> what advice do you have for young people? I would tell young people to stay, especially you know with COVID and in today's world, I would tell them to stay focused in the present and don't worry too much about the past or the future. Mm. Thank you for coming on the show, Vicki, and congratulations on being an awesome human being. Thank you, I'm so excited. And this is for you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Hey, everybody. It's Rob, and I'm here with our resident equestrian and horse expert, Azaria. How you doing, Azaria? Good. Good. Azaria's going to tell us about four different breeds of horses. And take it away. Pigeon is a breed of draft horse. They are usually gray and black. They originated in Western France. Pigeons are well muscled and known for their intelligence and willing to work. And they're percherons, is that what they're called? Thank you. So they might pull wagons because they got muscles, right? Good, all right, next. Thoroughbreds. Thoroughbred. Are the breeds that are best known for horse riding, racing. Good. They were developed in England racing and jumping. So when you watch the Kentucky Derby, you'll probably be looking at thoroughbred horses, right? Good. All right. What do you? What else you got? F. Flinders is a breed that was developed in Australia and northern Italy. Chestnut with flips in mane and tail. Described as energetic but smooth and are well muscled yet elegant. Very good. And uh, they're really cool to look at. They have the blonde hair. Now I hear that you have seen in real life a very rare breed. Tell us about that. Yes, Marwaris is a rare breed of horse. Mar Marwaris, okay. Um, Marwar, Virginia, American. The Marwar region of Rajasthan. In northwest India. With 
and worm curve, curve in the shape of the ears. So they have the, sh the ears that, that curve inward like, like that. That's cool. It's amazing that you've seen it. Well, I bet a lot of people have never seen a horse like that. Well, thank you, Azari. Will you come back next month and tell us about some more horses? Very good. Thanks for watching. Hi, everybody. I'm Mike Finnerty. This is my good friend. Callie. Kylie Martin. And we're here. Kylie's got uh, some facts for you. We found out that some of the people in the uh, LEAD program are a little nervous around spiders. So yes. Kylie thought she'd do a little research, maybe find out some interesting facts about spiders. So we get some Kylie's spider facts. You ready, Kylie? Yep. First thing we're going to talk about is the spider's web. The web, right. Jeepers. We found out that the spider silk is liquid. Liquid. And then what happens? When it hits the air, it turns... Hard. So hard. Hard. And, and in fact, it goes to our number two fact. It it's is strong. very, very strong. strong. Very strong. In fact, spider silk is so strong, it's five times stronger than steel of the same thickness. That's amazing. Never knew that. Ready for number three? Yeah. All right. Number three. Agreed. Female Agreed. spiders Agreed. have a very big... big eat. Big eat, big appetite. They get hungry. Black widow. <laughs> That's right. Sometimes their boyfriends get in the way and the female eats the boyfriend. And that's where the name Black Widow comes from. So we have the Black Widow spider. Oh, my goodness. All right. Ready for number four? There are There's lots. There are lots of spiders. Scientists think there are over 30,000 species. That's unbelievable. And here's the fact that I could not believe. You ready for this one, Kelly? Yes. Number five. Spiders are? Big. Everywhere. Everywhere. They're everywhere. Research suggests that you are never more than 10 feet away from a spider. But don't worry, because what are they usually doing? What are the spiders usually doing? They're hiding. Hiding. They're hiding. So you don't have to worry about them. But there's so many that you're never more than 10 feet away. So those are our, sp our facts for spiders. Maybe that'll make people not be so scared of them. What do you think, Kylie? Yeah. All right. Say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. See you next month. See you next month. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Art Corner. I'm Sharon. Hi, I'm Vicki. Um, Sharon, who are we talking about today in the Art Corner? We are talking about Michelangelo. He was an Italian sculptor, painter, architect, and poet who was born March 6, 1475 in Caprice, Michelangelo, Italy. So he's actually named after this. <laughs> um, what kind of art did he do? He was known for sculpture, painting, architecture, and poetry. What is something we should know about Michelangelo? A painting by Michelangelo is worth $300 million. And if I wanted to see a Michelangelo in real life, where would I go? You can find his work at the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C. Can you tell us what the subject of his paintings were? He did many religious paintings, including The Last Judgment, Sistine Chapel Ceiling, etc. I heard he is one of the main people from the Renaissance. The time periods he worked during include the High Renaissance, Italian Renaissance, and Mannerism. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> what is a fact that not everyone knows about Michelangelo? Another interesting, interesting fact about Michelangelo is that a jealous Rival broke his nose when he was a teenager. Oh, ouch. <laughs> See you next month on the Art Corner. Bye.